Alrighty, I finally have a construction update for you guys. I couldn't be more excited. This is a really action-packed construction update. I'm so excited to share what's been going on, but I first wanna stress that um, we're getting a lot of comments for Six Flags Great America updates and uh, Steel Curtain updates and other updates from other parks. I wanna just let you guys know that whenever there is something to cover, we will cover it. Sometimes we'll wait a little longer for things to build up and then we'll cover it once we get enough content to make a video out of it. I don't wanna make a video update for like one picture for a small amount of construction when I can wait a couple more days or a week for more content to arrive. Um, with that being said though, let's get right into Yukon Striker. This is a Yukon Striker video. Um, so as you can see, all three trains are on site. You have four trains or four cars um, down there below surrounded by all the equipment. That's where they're assembling the trains. Um, so some of the pictures you may have seen online are showing gray. Um, that is not true. They're actually installing plating onto the trains, the theming um, and the restraints and other kind of designs. That is all that equipment surrounded by those four cars down there. You have three and then two up above them. So in total, you have nine cars that equals three trains. So all three trains are on site. That's super exciting. So I've, as I've said in another video, you're gonna wanna expect gold plating on the back. Very similar to Val Raven. Um, you're gonna expect beige kind of car interior, fancy car interior for the seating, um, and a very dark burgundy red for the base of the cars. Um, so I'm very pleased with how the trains have turned out. I couldn't be more happier. Um, and I think you guys are absolutely gonna love them too. They are not that ugly yellow in the animation and the announcement pictures, nowhere close. Um, with that being said, uh, Canada and Canada's Wonderland, the area got hit with a very heavy snowstorm the night before. So it's making for some really awesome shots of Yukon Striker and the surrounding area. So hopefully you guys enjoy this footage, but I'm rambling. Let's get right into it. Yukon Striker, this is what you guys are here for. What's going on with the vertical loop? Well, I have great news. Uh, the vertical loop is definitely making its way up. That piece they removed about a week and a half ago is back in place. So the piece has been installed and two more pieces with those two arrows to the left of the screen. They're ready to go in too. It looks like all the pieces are back from Ohio. You saw from our previous video, some pieces went back to the Ohio manufacturing plant um, and now they are back on Wonderland property. I can see and make out the actual kind of flatbed that they were shipped on in the storage lot and there's no more track pieces out there either. Very good sign. So the support structure is up. They've reinstalled that missing piece that they removed and the missing pieces are there in the footage. There they are, one and two. Um, in fact, the one piece, the farthest to the top arrow on the left side of the screen is actually two pieces attached together. Um, and then the one I believe down there is just one piece. So I still can't make out one piece, but I'm sure it's there. All the pieces are accounted for. Um, and they've definitely restarted construction on the vertical loop. So fingers crossed, the weather is not working in their favor right now. Um, so I don't think we're gonna see the vertical loop completed tomorrow. I am going to get my drone out on Friday. Again, Craig is currently filming the footage for us. I'm gonna get my drone out on Friday and fly because my drone can handle the cold weather a little more because I do something with my battery that allows it to fly in cold weather. Um, so I'll be there Friday to see if there's anything or if the vertical loop is completed. So look forward to a Friday or Saturday update. I'm assuming it's gonna be a Saturday update. Um, and uh, I'll try and have the footage and pictures uploaded to our Patreon account for our Patreon, our patrons uh, to have access to. Um, but I'm super excited. The vertical loop is definitely staying. Again, in our video we just released a day or two ago, uh, we stated the vertical loop was moving forward. It was not being canceled. Um, I know there was some confusion with the title. Um, we did put a question mark, but uh, we removed the title and changed it to just vertical loop update. Um, the vertical loop will be staying and uh, it was definitely the second support column, the last support column for Yukon Striker went up and now you have the vertical loop heading on in. So this is super awesome to see. Uh, with the red arrow, they're digging out um, a very straight line alongside the second drop out of the MCBR. I originally thought it was evident that it was going to be a river just because of its flow, but they're pouring cement into it. And that is not common for rivers unless maybe there's rapids. And it's very straight now to the second drop and the pullout. So I'm thinking either a building or theming or even a water feature, maybe it'll spray water up 
um, some sort of effect. Who knows? I have no idea at this moment, but they're pouring cement into the, the very straight vertical, um, not vertical, the very straight line that runs horizontal to Yukon Striker. Um, sure you guys can make out some pretty exciting things in the station area as we head on over there. But just to wrap it up, um, I do want to remind you that um, some metal pan paneling has arrived uh, over in the Mindbuster area. You can't make it out in this snowy weather. It is covered in snow. So from afar, we don't know what it is. Um, but we do know from previous videos about two, three weeks ago that it is metal paneling similar to that of the animation for Yukon Striker. Now, here's a close up of the station area. So they are building this really fast because just two, three days ago, um, we were looking at some images and the exit was up. Now we have the entrance area. So closest to us is where you'll enter into Yukon Striker's station and the far right side, farthest away from us, the bigger section is the exit. There'll be some sort of theming that crosses over the station as well. We don't know if that'll actually be walkable or if it'll be an above station kind of operator booth, similar to what Skyrider had, but it is definitely looking a lot larger of a building than I had originally anticipated. It's definitely taken the form of the what you can see in the animation. And again, we are starting to predict that the animation was kind of pretty accurate to what the station will look like. So that's super awesome. It's not going to be something as super pretty like Copperhead at Carowinds, but it's definitely going to suit the area really well. Now, what I'm really hoping for, and the animation didn't show it, is some theming on the storage building. We saw an enclosed building um, in the storage shed for Valraven, and I'm really hoping Yukon Striker has something similar to that, obviously themed to the Yukon and not some building themed to an evil bird's nest. Um, or whatever they themed Val Raven to. It's very weird. It's got like washroom tiles looking, but it also has like a very bird evil look to it as well. Very weird mix, but I'm kind of hoping they cover it up. I'm also hoping that the queue line has some shading and covering because in the animation, it shows it completely exposed. Again, the animation was made years and years and years and years ago um, for a 2016 edition, I believe. Um, that's what the rumors and evidence points to, but... Um, so I'm hoping there's some sort of features that we're not seeing. I am seeing a lot of theming activity building up underneath the break run, even when you first enter the break run. So that'll be super exciting to see what they do with that. Um, and uh, I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, for some awesome theming in the queue line. Again, there's a lot of work going on. They're building the storage, or not the storage, the service road um, alongside the left side of Yukon Striker, the current way we're facing. So left side of the lift hill, current way we're facing. There's a service road being built. We can make it out in the blueprints. Um, and uh, definitely the queue line looks very massive. So again, uh, the queue line will enter underneath the turn and go into that little entrance area building that they're building. And you go underneath the building and the queue line also extends underneath the brake run and kind of underneath the helix. So it'll be super interesting what they do with the queue line. I don't know what's going on. You can actually see them pouring cement into using that barrel or bucket method that funnels a little bit of cement in at a little, um, a little bit at a time. So definitely weird activity going on to the drop out of the MCBR. Don't know what that's going to be, whether it's going to be theming building or some sort of building altogether, who knows, um, or just some sort of special effect, like a little water fountain. Anyways, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this quick update. It wasn't actually quick. It was a big update. Hope you enjoyed this update. Um, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. There'll be lots more um, updates coming. I actually thought we would end the Yukon Striker updates, and I forgot, well, we have testing coming up, not anytime soon, end of February, and we have the uh, theming and station area to watch as well. So pretty exciting stuff coming up. Stay tuned for all other construction updates. Again, please just be patient. Um, we will post updates as they're needed. There's nothing going on at Six Flags Great America yet, um, and we just posted our uh, steel curtain update. So hopefully you enjoyed that as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, again, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. Have a good one, guys. Bye.